Hello friends, uh, this is Ubi Sharada and today we will create this solid component in NXCAD. So here I have one front view and one section view from A. This is section view and one detail view for this portion. Right. So first of all, I will start with this bigger circle. Then I will create this single fin blade and then I will apply circular pattern uh, later I will try to create this portion so let's start with the annex okay so select this plane orient the view okay and I'm starting with a circle and 160 is a dia and this 70 is here and I need this smaller one circle so a smaller one is uh, 32 so create one more circle with 32 diameter click and 32 is a diameter finish and I'm just extruding outer one so this and the thickness is the smaller one the thickness 25 and 29 so 4 will be the thickness apply now I will create this blade and uh, I want to create here so click here and go to sketch and use arc and circle so first I'm using circle I'm just creating this one so a little bit circle smaller circle which four dia and one more here and use arc from here to this and tangential and same here to this click now tangent and go to this and use tangent make these two tangent make this circle and arc tangent okay no problem it is already defined so this and this circle make it tangential now this is okay and the radius and the radius is 95 so click here or uh, first I am going to define the values and this value is C10 and from this vertical to this point this gap is 12 right and center point this center point from this vertical is 84 close and drag it a little bit so that it will come it is not coming here so delete and first I am still it is not coming delete this one okay let's do undo and now radius I need one more radius so first I'm going to define the radius then only it will be properly so select this and this arc make them concentric delete this one right and uh, the radius for I'm starting from here to this and inside and select this and this one make them concentric make this reference and I need the dimension for this middle one click 
and the radius is 95 close and delete this one right now it is looking properly and one more distance from here to the center this gap is 12 it is given and from this to this point this is 84 and close my sketch is now fully defined so you can pattern here or in solid also so I will pattern it in solid select this no cancel it I want to extrude this one and unite and this thickness say 29 and 46 so the difference between 49 minus uh, 46 minus 29 okay this is the height now let's do this circular pattern and select the circular select this and vector is this okay and the number of item and the number of item is 13 click say this now this is created and uh, this portion is still here and the diameter of this one see here we have some values so I will try to make this portion with revolve command so come to this plane okay now start with here and the line is this click and a little bit straight again down again here then taper like this and match with this here a little bit down and uh, see this one don't match okay and inside click here okay and I'm matching with this because this this hole this 32 diameter hole I have already created a circle so I will use with this circle now dimension and uh, say this 120 so first this and this half of 120 60 and next is 112 so this and this 112 divided by 2 and 98 this one is 98 90 divided by 2 and again sorry 98 is this one and this is 87 87 divided by 2 and this portion this is 98 divided by 2 okay now 50 so this point and this is 25 and uh, distance between these two this gap is 7 and 20 from this to this line this is 20 and uh, from this 125 and 29 so I'm using from this to this point 
this is 25 okay the shape is a little bit deformed so just undo and first I will define this detail view and here it is zoom it dimension and the angle is 32 so between these two angle is 32 and uh, next is 11 so from this point to this point this line this gap is 11 and radius is 2 so go to this fillet 2 radius apply here and here and in between also right and 10 10 from see this is okay this is the gap so from this this lower end so click this from this to mid of this point zoom it so I will get this right now dimension it this is 10 and these two lines are not matching properly so select this and this make them coincidence zoom it and this point or drag this a little bit here this point and this horizontal align it and the point it is this and this make them no it is not here so define this gap this and this make it zero close and see here I need 3 mm and again I need 3 mm so first I'm going to change this one see 11 32 this all I have defined and let's see whether it is defined properly or no it is not defined properly so undo and draw a reference line zoom it and click and point and uh, this point make them horizontally align and change this line to reference and define angular between this and this half of 32 is 16 so this will symmetric okay and change this dimension and uh, this dimension is 25 and close let's see okay most of the dimension I have given here and let's see what is the things remain see this is 20 so so select this and this line make them coincidence right now it is okay I finish and uh, apply revolve command here and uh, select this this is the connected curve so click this and my axis is this y unite okay say this and fill it 3 mm fillet here apply and again on this corner apply okay now this lower portion is almost complete and here I need this portion this one this rib is here so this will come on upper face now I need this 70 dash circle so go to this face okay and circle with 70 da finish and extrude it this circle and the thickness of this circle is this gap is for the 70 da and this is 
37 36 minus 29 is 7 so this gap will come 7 and united okay right and uh, here I need this fillet so I need to reorder this then only this will possible so maximize it and let us do this this is sketch and this is the first plate so before this drag before this this is okay now and extrude this before this blade okay and now hold the shift key select all this and suppress now apply the fillet here I need the fillet and here also and I don't know I think it is two okay this fillet is two okay now show all this okay this is still here so drag and drop here now it is okay and enable all this hide this sketch no I want this because I need a cut so in wireframe extrude select this and symmetrically cut 7 drag it shading on I want to remove it so select the subtraction and hide and I need chamfer 1 into 45 here and 1 into 45 on other side apply hide this sketch so this is a model hope you understand how to create this shape so thank you for watching have a nice day please keep subscribe our channel